This just in, from the capital city of Greece in Athens, there are reports of men eating other people, consuming them, and even worse, as this amateur footage comes in, we can see that they come back to life despite being dead. We don't know what is causing this. All we know is this is proving to be a great threat for all of humanity. A pandemic of epic proportions. Some might even call it zombies. Months later, the zombie pandemic has spread throughout the known world. Except for the unknown world like Atlantis, nobody seemed to found that yet. The zombie virus seems to take over the body of its host, giving it one desire. Brains. Humanity, after being initially caught off guard, has decided to fortify what is left of the white zones. Zones in the world where humanity has been unaffected. They have fortified, and rumor has it, that they're even working on a cure. Unfortunately, the cure is not ready yet, but firearms sure are. I like freedom. Here at a routine checkpoint, it appears a number of the undead are chasing a poor man. He's got a freaking banjo. Somebody let this man in. We need some desperately needed music. We've got the riot police, but I dare say if the zombies break through, humanity will have to figure something out because the zombies are gonna get in and infect everybody. Oh, run! Oh my God, they're eating him alive! Alive! The riot police don't seem to be able to repel the sheer force. The zombies don't even care about their own lives because quite simply, they don't even have lives. They're dead. They're pushing them off and eating those who don't fly off. Bullets seem to not be very effective unless they hit the brain or the spinal column. And those that do die convert to zombies and join the army of the undead. They don't seem to be too smart though, and certain obstacles seem to be quite effective at stopping them. But bullets seem to just not be enough. Even the fact that they were spitting out freedom at a Incredible rate, just like the Federal Reserve is sending out dollars and dollars and dollars at an incredible rate. The cure? Who didn't give this man a pistol? Oh god, the inhumanity. Why are we still using 30 round magazines? These men should be giving 100 round magazines and their weapons set to semi-automatic fire, so they're more efficient. However, it does seem that they were able to hold off the first wave but I've got bad news. Some of these men are gonna die. We need immediate reinforcements. Rumor has it that the human nations have joined together uh, in a united sense. Some are even calling it the real United Nations now that there's zombies here and we're actually scared, so maybe we should finally work together and, uh, you know, not die and convert to zombies. Somebody find out the acronym for that because that is now the organization's name. The checkpoint held off the first wave, a few reinforcements from the nearby village, the village that happens to be producing the test serum, the test cure. They got a few reinforcements and they even found a villager who was working on a secret weapon. It, it's makeshift and homemade, but while it looks like he's a little bit taller than Tom Cruise, but wearing his helmet, he is appears to be holding an amateur homemade flamethrower. Unfortunately, all of the noise has attracted some of the zombies and the zombies are evolving. Some are learning to twerk while others are learning to mutate their bodies. These are charger zombies that have first appeared in Panama, centralized around the canal, which seems hot weather seems to breed even more zombie plague. It, it thrives there. There's more outposts of humanity that seem to be revolving around, oh my God, around the Northern regions. Uh, you know, cold does affect it. The Charger zombies are getting pushed back. One just got launched off, but it, it appears that Mr. Flamethrower here, while he did pretty well, burned a couple and pushed a few off. He was eventually taken down, but will his sacrifice allow humans to hold on to this choke point once more? My God, this man is a hero. Somebody give him the whatever acronym we decided was for the actual United Nations uh, because <laughs> there's one zombie left. He just took down like 20 of them with him. You are a brave, brave man. Wait, what? What's that, Mr. Zed? Your zombies have evolved even more? Here in Belgium's capital city of Brussels, they have created a very impressive fortress. And since it's the Belgians, they've got their amazing FN weapons, the Fabrique Nationale, I think. I don't speak freaky deaky Belgian. 
But they've got the scars, they've got some snipers, and they've built up a rather formidable little outpost here protecting the capital city, where they've been working once again on the serum, and they decided some brave doctor, a doctor that has no borders. He doesn't care if the zombies are over there. He's going to try to cure them. He's also been a little bit of, uh, gone a little stir-crazy recently due to the quarantine. He tried to go out there thinking that zombies just needed a friendly hug and some cure. But this guy looks like he ate a lot of chili with a lot of cheese, and he's been gassed up just prior to being turned into a zombie. Here you can see the wreckage of the outskirts, and this doesn't look good. This does not bode well for Mr. Doctor Without Borders, because that man looks like he's on roller skates. Run! Run back to the gate! Get back there! All right. Now the doctor's learning about borders. Some Sometimes you might need him. Wait, he's a- No! Save him! He's got the test serum! He must be protected. This is not bode- This does not bode well. These seeking zombies have the ability to shoot out giant, like, I guess it's probably just their large intestine and their small intestine tied together like a rope, you know? Like in a prison movie where you tie your sheets and try to get out of, you know, the, uh, the house there. Oh yeah, let's be snipers and jump down from the tower, you idiots! Wait, hold on. I want to point out that the, uh, the snipers jump down to get a better view, and the guy with the shield and a pistol is like, nah, bro. I've got, like, 99.9 .9 level aiming. And this is what happens when you're a sniper and you go out to try to get some CQB action. I mean, yeah, that's a McDonald's back there, but it's closed down, dude. There are, there are no Big Macs for anybody. Or is it Whoppers? Which one is there? <laughs> Thankfully, while the snipers may be dumb, and this guy is not the smartest either, the zombies are pretty dumb too, and look at these. These are P90s. The the uh, Belgians, I almost said the Dutch. It seems that this SWAT team is so close, they like to wrap arms around each other. But unfortunately, there's more zombies, and they're evolving. But one has to remember that humanity can evolve and adapt too. Let's use uh, exploding grenade launchers. That seems like a pretty good idea. I also want to do a quick announcement here. My mod is finally available. It's available on the official Tabs mod library. Here you can see uh, how to do it. There's going to be a link in the description. Finally, I can share with it. And now that's going to make all of my mods much quicker to release. Thank goodness. So let me know which mods you'd like in Totally Aggro Battle Simulator and we can work on them. But anyway, it seems that the zombies have infected... The angels, or whoever the X-Men that were sneaking around society with secret wings that we didn't know about until they turned to zombies and they couldn't control, you know, themselves. But we have those, and there's also rumor that some of these zombies are former Olympians since the Japanese Olympics uh, was uh, closed down due to the, the pandemic as well. And they are long jumpers, and they can jump <clears throat> very long distances because they are, uh, they're long. They're, they're, they're long jumpers. They jump long. That's what they do. Long jumpers jump long. I mean, I'm not the one who invented it. These zombies, man. They, are they using cover or are they twerking? Oh, big grenades. Oh, the blitz guy is holding down the fort here. Uh-oh, he's not able to find his targets anymore. They're eating him alive. Ooh, this is bad. Who is left alive on humanity's side? There's these guys who like, hey man. Uh, I could be saving people, but I'd rather just, rather just do some calisthenics. Why is everybody having a dance party? You guys are supposed to be defending humanity. Instead, your friend is getting eaten alive on the barriers here. Oh my god. Oh, that's just, that just doesn't look very good. All right, once he drops his gun, you know what that means. He will join the undead. Oh, ho, ho, ho. did you see that? The dude is playing 4D chess with his grenade launcher. He fired it, it bounced off this barrier, and hit the dude that was hiding in waiting in ambush. Someone needs to let me know because uh, that might be the smartest man in the history of mankind, at least in the zombie plague. Who's left alive? Oh god, he's going out to exterminate them. Oh no, we got jumpers. Why does people always leave their forts? Cause it never bo- it never ends well for them. Oh, dude, this is- you always watch like The Walking Dead and you're like, How did that guy get snuck up on? You know there's zombies. Zombies aren't smart. Yeah, you allowed yourself to get snuck up on. Well, we just saw how it happened. <laughs> and while the capital city of Belgium eventually fell to the zombie pandemic, Russian Spetsnaz troopers were paradropped in. High altitude, low opening. 
to rescue. Maybe none of the Belgians, but they did manage to procure some of the zombie cure. And I know some of you guys may be asking, Hey, Baron, jumping zombies are stupid. Oh, yeah? Well, how come the Russian Spetsnaz had to go down in the sewer to try to sneak away from the zombies? They're like, oh, this seems abandoned. All I can hear is faint voices going, Brains. This is why you don't want jumping zombies. <laughs> oh my god. Russian Spetsnaz, protect yourselves. Who brought the RPG? Oh god. Uh-oh. The RPG, uh... The RPG is down. I repeat, the RPG is down. Hold on! Somebody protect these guys! Tovarish! Calling all Russians and Stalin's grandmother. Uh, we need vodka. I mean, we need immediate reinforcements. In immediate reinforcements they got. How convenient. But a giant plane was flying overhead with uh, the ability to call in reinforcements. Via Atlanta, Georgia. No, via airborne invasion. We've got paracommandos jumping in. Someone needs to procure that serum and we need to get it to the CDC that was relocated from Atlanta, which was overwhelmed in some of the early days. I mean, who would have thought that having a bunch of diseases in your backyard was a bad idea. But now the CDC is obviously where you think it would be. Key West, Florida. I mean, they also got key lime pie there. So, I mean, who, who doesn't love key lime pie? Key lime pie and zombie cures, baby. We gotta get these Russian special forces back to Key West, Florida. I mean, it's, it's on an island at the end of a very long bridge. Do you know how many choke points you can have there? Wait a minute. Are you serious? The Russians, I guess, called the Americans who sent in an Apache gunship to do its best to, to try to defend, to support the pair of commandos. This is like attempt number three. This may not be the best idea to do it. Maybe they need to go back to Belgium to get it. Needless to say, the Apache is doing a fantastic job at just dropping absolute hellfire missiles down on the enemy. Zombies are getting wrecked left and right. The paracommandos have landed. Oh my god. There's Belgians. There's Russians. This must be that really long... Uh, who are these guys? These guys are from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Oh my god, we got people from all over. <laughs> Most of them are getting eaten alive, but... At least they're out here fighting the good fight. All right, grab the serum and let's get out of here. As you head to the Florida Keys, there's a very long bridge known as the Seven Mile Bridge. The United Nations blah 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 acronym, which I'm gonna read the comments so that I can remember it because I can't remember it right now. They've built a defensive fortification at the very end of it. It's one of the biggest choke points to take advantage of. But it seems the zombies have run down both sides of the Seven Mile Bridge in an effort to get to Key West. Some genius thought, hey, they're zombies. We just need to shoot them in the head, but let's get a javelin missile launcher and shoot at them. And why not some transport helicopters to try to get the CDC spec ops doctors out of here, off this area of the bridge and back to the super fort. But unfortunately, the zombies have evolved. Why do they do that? Somebody tell them to stop because those things are just gross looking and scary as they just... <laughs> <laughs> Look at these zombies. I love zombies. <laughs> I'm gonna jump at them, Bill. <laughs> oh, never mind. I thought they were gonna die. But humans have decided, hey, maybe firing lots of bullets really fast via miniguns is a good idea. And bringing in those flamethrowers. And the Russians are here. The Belgians are here. Snipers are here. Americans. And, uh, you know, the spec ops doctors from the CDC special units. All the while trying to hold out while zombies are flying and jumping and big and exploding. It's just... It's just terrifying stuff, but at least we have helicopters, right? Oh god. Oh my god, we've got missiles too. Hey, maybe don't fire the missiles near your friendly units, because, uh... It looks painful, man. It, it really looks like that's a bad idea. But, you know what? It might just be enough to hold back the zombie waves. But this is only... What? Looking down the bridge. Oh my god, you see that in the distance? That's a deus ex machina. That's more zombie waves! <laughs> As these ones get destroyed by... So whoever decided to bring that uh, rocket launcher actually is a genius. And look at this. This is this is no ordinary helicopter. That's a transport helicopter. There's reports that we that humans aren't the only one affected by the zombie virus. Apparently also snakes. Some of these zombies are also reported to have the ability to both be able to jump and spit at the enemy and there's even rumor of some more nefarious devices. While it appears to be medieval armor hovering in air, this is actually what is believed to be a zombie spawner. I guess zombies are masters of metallurgy and have created 
Oh god, that looks dangerous. Oh no! That's acid spit going everywhere. Those Russian defenders are unfortunately being infected. I don't even think the transport helicopter, which is para-dropping people down via grappling cables, which is just an absolute genius. Fern, you're a wild man. He's the maker of the zombie mod, by the way. Oh yeah, flying zombies. So here you can see the Seven Mile Bridge being overwhelmed. The fortifications here, that means we're gonna have to see the Battle of Key West, aren't we? It seems that humanity is being overwhelmed. There's just an endless supply of zombies, even despite how stupid some of the zombies are and when they, when they decide to jump off the cliff. I mean, you know, that's zombies be zombies, bro. But these little concrete barriers are doing a pretty good job at stopping a number of the zombies, man. Oh God, the flying ones are picking up the humans. They're Oh my god, the flying ones are affecting the helicopter. That thing's got to get out of here before it crashes. Oh wait, it's got the it's got the it's got the virus anti serum on it. What's that? Another Deus Ex Machina? I think so. Oh god, this does not bode well for humans. Get back to the Key West Fortress. The Battle of Key West has just begun. Humanity's final outpost. It appears that the zombies are actually attracted to the serum, I think they know that it will destroy their virus and render them ineffective and thus able to be killed in totality. So the allied nations have joined together and hold on, do you? Yeah, I hear the zombies and there's a lot of them. Some of these are actually cytokinesis versions, which we have not seen yet, which means there's some form of telepathic attacking, but I swear I hear jets. Oh my goodness. Humanity's bringing in the SR-71 Blackbird. They're calling in a B-2 stealth bomber and a transport aircraft, probably dropping in crazy Spetsnaz special forces soldiers again. But I think that humanity will be able to withstand the zombie epidemic if we unite together and none of these planes uh, fly off the cliff. Oh my God, the B-2 is dropping bombs. And no, these we're not dropping bombs over Baghdad. We are dropping special forces units? A lot of bombs. What's the SR-71 doing? And oh my God, we're carpet bombing the zombies. Do you see that? That is glorious. Totally accurate planes are a little bit wonky, but I dare say their bombs are fantabulous. Oh man, that does not bode well though. Okay, let's watch this in, in subtle real time uh, attempt. The zombies are doing a pretty good job. The SR-71, I don't know if it's trying to land or if it's crashing. It's a little bit difficult to tell. The B-2 is also appearing to land and crash. Maybe they're flying away. Hey! Welcome back to the battle, Mr. Jet Plane. Those are propellers. Yeah, you're right. You're right, those are propellers. Come on, boys. Keep fighting. We've got to hold out as long as possible. Oh my god, the parachutists are getting eaten alive as they're flying down. Oh god. Wait a minute. Guys, if the zombies take over here, that means the few survivors who just happened to uh, text communicate the formula to a few survivors in where? Let me know where they're sending it to and what the story is because the story goes on. This was just act one of the, zomb of the totally accurate zombie epidemic. Taze. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Totally Aggro Battle Simulator. This one was a lot of fun and extra silly. We used UW's Modern Faction mod, and we used Fern's Zombification mod, and we used UML, the mod manager by Fern. And you know what? Our Star Wars mod is now available to be downloaded and played by you guys, so I hope you do enjoy it. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.